Hallelujah. Greetings in Jesus' name. This is a revival time program. We welcome you to Aikaze to be able to hear the word of God with us. It's a beautiful day that God has given us that we may share the word of God with us. I do believe the Lord is going to bless you in a special way. Let's pray for the word. Loving Father, we appreciate you Thank you for this day you have given us, Lord. Thank you for the teaching of your word. We pray wherever this message is going. That your people will be helped, our Father. Open the eyes of our understanding. Open the ears of our understanding. That we hear what you want to say to us today. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Timothy. Uh, Timos. And I am with uh, uh, Julius. We are happy to be here. You are happy to welcome you in this program again. Uh, we have been teaching a series here uh, about how to know the will of God uh, in your life, for your life. Uh, and also for your family. If you don't know the will of God, you will not be able to do what God requires you to do on this earth. So God needs us to know the will of God. Uh, of him. Uh, to know the will of God. To know his purpose. Uh, in our last program, we spoke about, uh, we started off speaking about 24 ways of how you can know the will of God upon your life. We spoke about how you can know the will of God upon your life. That be, be not unwise. But be able to know what the will of the Lord is. So God's will is for you and me to be able to know His will in our lives. And so we said that we know the will of God by the word of God. Uh, by the word of God. Psalms 119 verses uh, 105 says that your word is a light unto my path. Uh, verse, verse 105, verse 105. Uh, Psalms 119. Uh, it says, Your word is a light unto my path. So the more you receive the word of God in your life, the more you are able to get light upon your destiny. The more you are able to grasp the mind of God in your life. We also spoke about walking in the spirit. We spoke about by what glorifies God. 
what does not glorify God, you ca- if you are doing what does not glorify God, you cannot know the will of God upon your life. Udakoze ibihe shima ni chuba hiro na abugo wamenyu mugambi imana kubuzima bugawe. And point number four is by a life of experience with God. Chaka nerero nukuba ho mubuzima go kumenye imana. So as we continue working with the God, we develop a relationship which helps us to know what what his will is. Uko dukomeza kugendana n'Imana niko gusabana nayo kwacu gukura noneho tukamenya ubushake bwayo kuri. We therefore know the will of God by a life of experience with God. Ah tumenye rero umugambi w'Imana ku buzima bwacu bitewe n'igihe cyangwa n'igihe tubanye n'Imana. Our experience with God igihe tumaranye n'Imana uh, tends to give us wisdom and understanding. Uh, if you read in the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 20, verse 12, uh, the Bible says, With the ancient is wisdom, and in length of days understanding. understanding. Uh, kandi kumenya gufitwe nabaramenye iminsi minyinshi the more you walk with god uko urushaho kugendana n'imana the more you experience different experiences of your walk with jesus niko urushaho kugira uburambe bwo kugendana na yesu the more you are able to have a uh, to have a understanding in the things of the kingdom nibwo urushaho kugira ubushobozi Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, so Job was saying, Yubuyaravugaga. with the ancient, the people of old, who they have some understanding. Ngo abasaza bafite gusobanukirwa they have they have seen many things kuberako babonye ibintu byinshi they have an experience of life ababonye bafite uburambe mu buzima haleluya amen the experience we have with the lord gives us assurance on what would be pleasing to him a uburambe rero dufitanye n'Imana buduha guhamya neza ko tuzayimenya because you are able to know what is right and what is wrong in his eyes kuko uko umaranye gihe n'Imana niko ushobora kumenya ni iki Imana yishimira Nichihe itishimira. Eli had such experience and that's why he had to tell Samuel what to do when God calls him. Eli yarafite ubwo burambe niyo mpamvu Eli 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 yarafite ubwo burambe niyo mpamvu yashobye kubwira Samuel uko ari imana ivuze. Hallelujah. He Amen. was able to instruct the young man the, the, the little boy yashobaye kubwira umusoro ukiri muto on how to understand and to hear the voice of god uko ashobara gusobanukirwa ijwi ry'Imana and this was so important to Samuel from that young age ibyo rero byari byagaciro kuri Samuel kuri ya myaka ye y'ubusore because the bible says that god began revealing himself to Samuel when he was a little boy by his word a kuko ije muri imana yatubira ngo imana yatangiye kwigaragariza Samuel akiri muto binyuze mu ijambo ryayo and Samuel was able to understand the voice of God through the hearing of the word of God a Samuel nawe atangira gusobanukirwa imana binyuze mu kuyumva so even if Eli was a, was a, was a priest that was his priesthood was fallen he was in a priesthood that was a, that was a, that was fallen nubwo eri yari mu gihe yaratikira umutambyi yari ravuye mu butambyi hallelujah mm. he was not able to hear god anymore icyo gihe ntabwo eri yaragishobora kumva imana because he was walking in sin his children were walking in sin and he was not warning them properly kubera yuko yari yaraguye ava mu butambye yagendaga mu byaha abana yo bakoraga ibyaha ntabacahe and the bible says and the word of god was rare in those days bibiri ravuga ngo ijambo ry'Imana ryari ingume icyo gihe and that's why god had to begin revealing himself to the little samuel niyo mpamvu imana yatangiye kujya yigaragariza umusore samuel we also have an example when La- when laban told uh, uh, told jacob that he had learned by experience ah uh, dufite nurundi rugero igihe laban yabwiraga yakobo yuko 
igihamaze cyamwigishije uh, if you read in Genesis chapter 30 verse 27 you can hear that isomye mu itangiriro ice cha chapter 30 verse 27 igice cha 37 and Laban said unto him i pray uh, thee if i found favor in thine eyes tarry for i have learnt by experience that the lord hath blessed me for thy sake rabana ramubwira ngo ningirirwa mahirwe nzigira kuburambe bwo tumaranye Hallelujah. Amen. Laban learned by experience. Since this young man, the son of my sister, came in my home, I have been prospering. Things has been changing over here. Come hey, on Laban now. Laban yige kuri ya kowa, arava ngo kufuyu musore, mwishi kwa wanjaje murugor wanje, na hau mujisha. Ya mwingi yeho rero. It is important to have an experience with God. Another point that helps us, uh, also David, uh, David said in Psalms 37 verse 25 I have been young and now I'm old yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor, nor his seed begging for bread. David had an experience with God from the day he was a shepherd boy taking care of the sheep of his father. Until the time uh, uh, Samuel comes and pours the oil of anointing upon him to enter into the kingdom. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, the Lord was the Lord the, the, he had an experience walking with God. Amen, amen. Amen. And then uh, uh, another point is by fervent prayers. Uh, one of the clearest way of finding God's will is by fervent prayer through which, which, uh, which one might ask or knock or seek the face of God. We read that in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Uh, uh, we can fight that. Uh, we can fight that. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, Ask, it shall be given. Uh, uh, you seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Matayo Karenu Karenu Aravgango, Musabe Muzahabga, Mushake Muzabona, Mukomanga Kuruji, Muzachingurua. Father, to praying. Will help you to know the will of God. By the problem with the many believers in Christ are lazy people. We can do many, many things, Christian activities which look very good, very fabulous. Except fervent praying. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Pray without stopping. Continue praying. Continue in prayer. The apostles in the Bible. After the day of Pentecost and the Holy Ghost came upon them in a mighty way. The Bible says in the book of Acts 2.42. And they continued steadfastly. In, a, in a prayer. Mugusenga, in fellowship, mugusabana, in breaking bread, no they continued in the apostles' teaching. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, but one thing that they continued in Ariko bagumyemo, was prayer. No Fervent praying Gusengozaho, will attract the heavens upon your life. You sing Ubuda Siva, Bikura Ijuru, Rikaza Mugzima. In Luke chapter eighteen, verse one to five, there. A Muriruka, Chicha Chuminumunani, Umurongwagatan, verse one to five. Yichacha Chuminumunani, Kuvakumurongwa, Merkura, Wagatan, Muriruka. This story illustrates that we pass uh, as we persistently seek the Lord. 
iyi nkuru iratwigisha ngo iyo dukomeje gushaka imana enok tugakomanga he will answer and show us which way to go imana izadusubiza kandi izatwerika inzira tunyuramo fervent prayers impl implies going beyond the few minutes in prayer of prayer a uh, gusenga guhozaho birenze kumara igihe gito mu masengesho and setting aside time to seek the lord ahubwo noneho ugashiraho igihe kihariye cyo gushaka imana haleluya amen uh, uh, for for this particular item of prayer until you have you have been able to pray through that item of prayer kugeza igihe uzashobora gusenga ukumvuhuye ni imana haleluya to the name of the lord yes ashim fervent praying is going to cause you to see god a uh, gusenga ubudasiba bizaguha kubona imana fervent prayer is going to attract the heaven upon your life gusenga ubudasiba bizazana imana mu buzima bwawe there are lots of promises of prayer being answered which came uh, which come out clear in the bible Hari ingero nyinshi z'amasengesho yashubijwe tubona muri Bibiliya. And they give us the confidence of praying fervently. Kandi biduha gusenga natwe duhozaho kandi dushiza manga. Ah uh, we find that in Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24. Ya uh, ebyo tubisanga muri Yesaya icyo cya 65 murongo wa 24. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24. Yesaya icyo cya 65 umurongo wa 24 This is what the Bible says. Dore bibiri uko ivuga. Ah 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 read for us. Reka mbasomere. Maze ubwo bazaba batarantabaza nzabatabara. Kandi bakivuga nzumva. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Amen. Even before they pray before they ask. Mm. Hallelujah I shall answer them Mbere yuko bantabaza nge nzaba namaze kwa When they are still asking bakisaba When they are still praying bagisenga I am going to hear nge ndaza kubumva and I'm going to answer Kaya ndabasubiza Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Yeremia 33:33 The Bible says call unto me Bibiliya iravuga ngo mpamagara and I'll show you Nanje great tabara. and mighty things you don't know kandi nkwereke ibintu bikomeye bihambaye utamenya great revelations about your destiny can only come from the lord agwishukirwa rero kwejo hawe hazaza nta handi kwava keretse kumana yonye great revelations of deep hidden mysteries of the kingdom can only be found by a praying believer amayobera y'Imana hishwe nta wundi ushobora kuyamenya keretse mu Kristo Usenga. And this leads us to our next point number 6. Ibi rero biratujyana ku nyego yacu ya gatandatu. Where prayer sometimes is not working on the prayer you need to add another element which is called fasting and praying. Aho gusenga byonyine bidahagije ahubwo tugomba kongera ho kwiyiriza no gusenga. Amen. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Yes, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6. Uh, Bibiliya yavuga muri Yesaya icyo cya 58 murongo wa gatandatu that when we fast the right way iyo twirije nkuko bikwiriye and we pray tugasenga we break the board of wickedness tugakubita hasi ibihome by we destroy bondages that are binding people tugakubita hasi ibihome biziti yabantu one time the disciples attempted to cast out a demon out of a young boy hari gihe rimwe um, abigishwa bashatse kwibagerageje kwirukana ba diamond mu mwana w'umuhungu and they could not do it ariko ntibabishobora and and then apart they ask jesus why couldn't we cast out that demon no neho bashoje bagira uhande babaza yesu kubera iki byatuna niye twebwe kwirukana abantu ba diamond jesus told them two things Yes, I've given you. It is because of your unbelief. You don't believe that I've given you power and authority over all demon powers. Aravuga ngo ikibazo ntabwo mwizera yuko nabahaye imbaraga zirukana ba diamond bose. But in about he told them. Ariko cyakabira arababwira. That is in Matthew 17:21 I believe. Ibyo biri muri Matayo 17 na 21. But this kind. Aravuga ngo ariko does not go away except by prayer and fasting umu diamond nkuyu na kindi cyawirukana keretse kwiriza ubusa no gusenga complicated diseases indwara zikomeye that have defied medical treatment zana niwe kubona abaganga heavy demonic uh, oppression especially like witchcraft 
gukandamizwa ko aba diamond bakomeye wenda nk'abapfumo such bodies may require you to pray and fast to pray through and to add some fasting to your prayer to be able to break that principality of hell ibyo bihome rero bisaba kugira ngo wiyirize ubyongere kugusenga kwawe kugira ngo ushobore kubona ubutsinzi ukubita hasi ibyo bihome byikuzira Jesus was a man of prayer Yesu rero yari umugabo uzigusenga He was a man of fasting Yari umugabo wiriza Sometimes the disciples would tell him to eat and then he tell them I have some food that you you know no, you know nothing about Ah rimwe nari mu bigishwa baramukurikiraga bati kutariye babo nari mu masengesho so if you add some fasting to your prayer for that particular situation you are talking about rero nufata gusenga kwawe ukongera ukwiriza ubusa kuri cya kibazo kiri imbere yawe urimo gusengera god is going to come through for you imana iraza kubana nawe hallelujah amen so we need to know how to go before the lord with a fast aducenere rero kumenya uko dusenga Fasting weakens the physical body and hence it releases the spirit to commune easily with the Holy Spirit. When you are a believer and the Holy Spirit is within you, niba urumwizera umwuka wera akaba ari kuri wowe, when you fast and pray, niba wiriza ugasenga, your spirit man becomes like a giant. A umuntu wawe w'umwuka arabyibuha you in increases inside you muri wowe uraguka though your physical body your physical body looks weak nubwo umubiri w'inyuma ubugaragara kufite intege nke during fasting mu igihe cyo kwiriza ubusa therefore we are in a position for effective prayers icyo gihe rero tuba turi mu mwanya wo gusenga amasengesho even Jesus himself when he was the son of God he had to fast before he began his ministry Yesu nubwo ari umwana w'Imana yamusabye kwiriza ubusa mbere ko atangira umurimo we Men of old in the scriptures had to fast when when matters were of a heavy decision like maybe who to marry they were in their hands Rimwe na rimwe abantu b'Imana bagombaga kwiriza ubusa igihe babaga bari mu bintu bibagoye Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe like in heavy decisions like who to marry, what job to do, which country to be in. Abantu benshi na n'uyu munsi iyo ushaka kugira ngo ugere ku kintu runaka kigoye wenda ukumenya uwo muzashakana igihugu zaturamo ushaka kazi bigusaba kugira ngo wirize ubusa imana bari yukuyobora. That is very important for the unmarried people. Ibyo rero ni byagaciro kuba Kristo. You 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 are uh, those who are not married that you can be able to pray for God to direct you the right way so that you don't get married and tomorrow you divorce. Nk'abantu batarashaka rero ni byagaciro kugira ngo uje ufata umwanya usenge kugira ngo ejo imana ikwerekwe muzashakana ejo tamara gushaka ukabya gutana. Prayer and fasting can help you not to make a wrong decision in life. Ah kwiriza ubusa rero no gusenga bigufasha gukora amahita mu meza. You can take one day of of just putting away food and you pray and you fast. Ushobora gufata umunsi umwe ukareka ibyo kurya ukiriza ubusa ugasenga. You can take three days of prayer and fasting. Ushobora gufata iminsi itatu yo kwiriza ubusa no gusenga. Ah uh, some people do even dry fasting for, uh, for three days but you should not go beyond three days of uh, of dry fasting. Ah uh, hari abantu rero biriza ubusa iminsi itatu nta nikintu bashyize munda ariko ntabwo ugomba kurenza ubundi iminsi itatu nta kintu. If you don't have a medical condition that requires you not to to be without food then from 3 days you can take water juices and what and you continue with the fast uh, seeking the lord. Ah nyuma y'iminsi itatu rero udafite ikibazo cy'uburwayi abaganga bakubwiye nyuma y'iminsi itatu ushobora gukomeza ukanywa amazi ukanywa juice ariko gukomeza ugasenga. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Yesu yiyirije iminsi 40. Moses fasted for 40 days. Um, Moses yiyirije iminsi 40. Elijah fasted for 40 days. Eliya yiyirije iminsi 40. All these three men, abagabo batatu bose, they walked with a lot of fire. Bagiye bari bafite umuriro w'Imana muri bo. They did miracles. Ba Imana yabakoresheje bitanga. Hallelujah. Amen. Another point is by a life of obedience. That is our point number seven. For us to enjoy the leading of the Lord, 
We must be in a state of obedience to him. For there are promises for blessing to those who live in obedience to God. Isaiah uh, chapter 1 verse 19. If you're willing and obedient. You shall eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Amen. And John chapter 7 verse 18. If any man will do his will, he shall know the teaching of the doctrine of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. So we should therefore not waste time seeking God's will on, on a matter uh, if we are initially living in disobedience. If we are living in disobedience, we should not even bother to seek God for his will. Don't bother to seek him for, for that particular matter. But if you are an, but if you are an obedient child of God, you are walking holy, you know you are not perfect, but you're walking, you're walking in humility. You try your best to obey, uh, to obey the word of God, to live like the world. When you sin, you, you repent quickly like David. David did a very heinous crime or sin before God. Of and mother. But the Bible says David was a man after the heart of God. Because he repented deeply. Deep repentance will cause you to be able to obey God. This means that if we are sinners, we need to repent of our sins before seeking any, any further guidance from God. Another important point is to seek God with an open mind. Many of us we go before God like Naman. Naman wanted, wanted the prophet to, uh, to heal him his way, his own way. You can read that in First Kings chapter, Second Kings five from verse nine there. He was saying that I thought the prophet would come and put his hand where the leprosy is and cure me. Yaravuze ngo numvaga umuhanuzi ari buze akakora akankoraho kugira ngo nshobore gukira. But Elisha knew who he, knew who he was. Ariko Elisha yarazi uwariwe. He knew the kind of authority he was carrying in God. Yarazo butware we yarafite mu mana. He told the he told the servant to tell that tell that man to go and bathe in the river Jordan seven times. Abwira umugarago ngo gende ubwira uriya mugabo agende yibire aje muri munya muri Jordan yibire mu inshuro ndwe. And for a while the man because he didn't have an open mind of God's healing he he became very angry. Na mane rero kubera ko atarazi mikorere y'Imana adafite imitekereze yagutse by'uburyo Imana ikora we yararakaye. Many people don't like to receive things from God the way he brings them. <laughs> We behave like Naman because we don't have an open mind to receive from the Lord the way he wants to do things. So, so he refused to follow the instructions. But then his servant told him. 
ariko nyuma nawe umugaragu aramubwira you are a big general of the army of syria aramubwira uri umusirikare mukuru mu general mu ngabo za syria you have conquered many walls watsinze intambara nyinshi if the prophet told you to do a very hard thing iyo muhanuza kubwira gukora ikintu gikomeye couldn't you have done it noba wagikoze now he is telling you to just go to the river and dip yourself seven times and you shall be whole. Ariko none arakubwiye ngo giye munda mu nyanja ucubire inshuro indwi uraba muzima wese. It is good to have proper friends around you. Nibya gaciro cyane rero kugera n'ishuti nziza zikuzengurutse. It is good to know who is uh, who is around your life. Ah nibyiza kumenya ninde mwicaranye ninde washize mu buzima bwawe. Because even friends can lose you. Kuko inshuti nazo zishobora kugutakaza cyangwa kuyobya. The Bible says the son of Solomon who was called Jeroboam, uh, uh, Rehoboam. Ah uh, Bibiliya ivuga ngo umuhungu wa Salomo witwaga Yeroboam the people of Israel came and told him, "Oh, please tell your father, uh, uh, please reduce the heavy burden that your father placed on us." Ngo abantu baraje baramubwira ngo nukuri dukureho umutwaro so yadushyizeho He told them go and come after three days I'll give you an answer Arababwira ati mugende mugaruke nyuma y'iminsi itatu ndabahe igisubizo Then he went he consulted the elders which used to counsel his father Noneho umuhungu aragenda gishya inama abasaza bajyaga bagira inama se They told him go and be humble to the people they are going to serve you forever Abasaza baramubwira bati Genda wowe wubahe abantu wubahe nibyo bakubwiye uzabayobora kandi bazagukorera igihe cyose But the Bible says Rehoboam forsook the counsel of the elders Ariko biravuga ngo Yeroboam yanze cyangwa yasuzuguye inama z'abakuru but he went to the young men whom he had grown with Noneho ajya muri ba basore yakuranye nabo And he asked them who do I tell of these people Arababwira ngo aba bantu mbabwire kirere Ah they told him you tell them tell them you even make the burden heavier Abasore baramubwira bati gende ubagire bari abantu yuko ahubwo umutwaro bari bikoreye ugiye kukubakabira I am going to wipe you with the scorpions Ati ngiye kuba kubita mikoba the Bible says ten tribes of Israel they departed from the house of David until the day of captivity they never came back. Bibiliya ivuga ngo inzu icumi zo mu Israeli zose zahunze igihugu kugera igihe cy'ububuretwa. Only Judah was left which was like a, because of the covenant God had made with David. Usibye umuryango wa Yuda niwo wasigaye wonyine kubera isezerano Imana yari yarakoranye na David. Because of the foolishness of Rehoboam kubera ubupfapfa bwa Yeroboam wari umwami cyo gihe God may want to bless you Imana rero ishobora kuba ishaka kuguha umugisha But many of us you be making a way for him we don't have an open mind to receive from him the way he want to do things Ariko noneho ugasanga twebwe turashaka yuko Imana iduha umugisha inyuze mu nzira twebwe dushaka nabwo dushaka Imana ikora Imana. That is how we know people, many, people, many believers in Christ miss the will of God upon their lives. Ubwo rero nibwo buryo bwinshi abizera ba Kristo babura imigisha yabo. We need to go to God with an open mind and be willing to accept whatever God gives us and in the way that he offers it. Dukenera kugi imbere y'Imana dufite ibitekerezo byagutse kandi tukwakira iby'Imana tugeneye nuburyo yifuje gukoramo. Sometimes the way you think it is the right one is not the right one. Rimwe na rimwe ibyo wifuza yuko ari ukuri siko kuri cyangwa ibyo uzi kari ukuri siko kuri Proverbs chapter uh, chapter 21 verses 2 uh, Imigani igice cya 21 umurongo wa kabiri Hallelujah Amen The Bible says that there is a way that looks uh, 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 that unto a man his ways are right but uh, but end thereof is the way of death Inzira y'umuntu yose imutunganiye ubwe ariko uwiteka niwe ugerageza imitima Death can be death, death in anything. Death of things can be death in anything. The, we are told there is a way that can look good in your eyes, but the end of it is death. Teravuze ngo hari uburyo ushora kubona ibintu n'amaso yawe ari kugasanga amaherezo yabyo ari urupfu. It can be death of business or death of marriage. Bishobora kuba ari urupfu rw'urushako cyangwa ari urupfu rw'akazi. So this means that we are as you, as you are, uh, as you are seeking God for his guidance in life kugira ngo ituyobore mu buzima hallelujah amen in marriage for those who are not married future career or even ministry in the 
Kingdom of God. Akazi, umuri mose, umuri mowi mana, changu akazi gasanzwe. Especially people serving the church. Chana chana wanu bakore ra bakore rimana. Many people don't like to start in the bottom of the ladder. They don't know to start very humbly serving God. Awanu benshi na gobashaka guhtangiri rahasi. They cannot put down their robes and, uh, and wipe the seat in the church or help to sweep or something. Ntabwo bashobora kujya mu rusengero ngo batangire bakora amasuku mu rusengero bahanagura intebe to do some little little things in the church kugira ngo bakore ibintu nyibura imirimo yo hasi mu rusengero they want to start very high Bashaka gutangira hejuru cyane. They want to start with the good titles of a prophet, a po, an apostle. Bashaka gutangira bitwa abahanuzi intumwa. Eh uh, those titles are good. Ah uh, ayo izonyito cyangwa se ayo matitire ni meza. But they come with a heavy responsibility. Ariko nanone ziza ni nshingano ziremereye. We should be willing to accept God's instruction and offer because he knows what is best for us. Birakwiye rero ko twakira umugambi w'Imana ku buzima bwacu tukanayumvira uko ituyobora kuko Imana buri gihe iduhitiramo ibyiza biruta ibyo twakwihitiramo. We should not be like the nation of Israel. Ntabwo dukwiye kuba nk'igihugu cy'a Israel. The Bible says they told Samuel give us a king so that we can be like other people. Birera vango babwe uyu mwami ngo duhu umwami nk'abandi batu babwe Imana ngo duhu umwami nk'abandi baturage. And the Bible says Samuel was very sad. You don't ask God for blessings to become like you, like other people. That is asking a miss according to the Bible. And they told Samuel, you know God has been leading Israel through, uh, through prophets, through judges. And he wanted to continue leading them that way. But they told Samuel, we want a king to be like other, uh, other nations. And they were given King Saul. Who could, who could not obey God. Uh, uh, point number nine is by revelation of the Spirit of God. Sometimes the Lord might reveal himself through his word in a direct way as he revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh. In the book of Luke chapter 2, we read about a man called Simeon. The Bible says that Simeon walked in the spirit. He was waiting for the constellation of Jerusalem. He was waiting for the uh, for the uh, for the for the Messiah. And the Bible says he walked, he went to the temple in the spirit. He was led by the spirit to go to the temple at a certain hour, a certain time. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Amen. And when he went there. I do believe in the temple there were many babies that were being dedicated. It is good to dedicate your children to the Lord. It is good to dedicate your children to Jesus. We don't baptize children with water. What we do, we dedicate them to Jesus. And a prayer of authority is prayed over the children so that they can be dedicated and hidden under the covering of Christ. And the Yesu Christo. So this, uh, Simeon came and received this baby in his hands and he blessed the baby. Simeon rero yaraje yakira uno ruhinja mu biganza bye aruhesha umugisha. That was baby Jesus. Urwo ruhinja ni Yesu Christo. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, Simeon. Apostle Paul was praying for the Ephesian Ephesian church. He was praying for the Ephesian church. Yasengera gitoro rya Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He was praying that God may give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, we need the spirit of revelation. In our walk with God. We need the Lord to reveal himself to us in a bigger way. We need to understand what God requires it to be done. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, Those are some of the ways you are able to understand the will of God. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Yes, we shall pray this, uh, this hour that the Lord may continue helping you that the Lord may guide you into his will in your life. That none of us is going to miss the will of God upon their life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We thank you for your word today. And we pray God Almighty for those people who have listened and seen this message of God. That you are going to cause your will to be revealed in their lives. We pray for those who don't know you. Reveal yourself to them, Father. Reveal yourself to this young man, this young lady. Reveal yourself to these children. To this man, to this woman, oh God. We pray for those who have strayed and gone far away from your will and purpose in their lives. We pray, we pray for your restoration. In the name of Jesus. We pray for those who miss their destinies because of following the ways of the world and following witchcraft or other things, Father. We pray for your help upon them. We pray for broken marriages. Oh God, we pray for restoration from heaven above. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil. Oh God Almighty, upon the viewers and the listeners of this message. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil upon their life. We pray for the sick that you heal them from every disease to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. May God bless you. You can find us on our, on our phone numbers on 0789 86-35-29 or 0788 57-07-0713 May God bless you. Amen. Shalom. Amen.